sound speeds. And in the past, you might have heard me talk about Adobe Podcast AI and their speech enhancement program that's currently in beta testing. But what you might not have also known is that they also offer a mic check. Now, I have not played with this just yet. And so in this video, we're going to do just that. Here we are logged in at podcast.adobe.ai. Now, I'm going to give you a quick warning here. I'm going to be perhaps being far away from a microphone. You might hear pops and clicks in my mouth if I'm too close. You might hear different noises and stuff like that if I'm too far away. And in post, I am going to be leveling and bringing up everything so that way it's easier for you to listen on YouTube. But I'm going to also be in candid mode here so you can see the process as it goes. So I'm going to go up here to quick tools and then click on mic check. Now, let's go ahead and see what it thinks of my volume here. And let's go ahead and do allow. And let's see what it thinks of, well, hit test mic. Let's see what it thinks of my sound, the way I naturally speak with the microphone where it is, which is just barely out of frame. I'm literally right now touching the edge of it. So that's where it is currently, just barely out of frame. Let's see what Adobe's podcast mic check uh, software, firmware, uh, app, whatever it says, project. Okay, that doesn't tell us what it's called. Either way, I'm going to see what it thinks of my sound. Grade me. How well do you think my sound is? It says I need more gain. It says, okay, well, I'm, I'm a little on the too far side of the distance off of my microphone. Background noise, less echo, and echo is just fine. But it says I might need a little bit more gain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to remedy a little bit about, about that and bring the microphone closer to my mouth. So this is where I do not want it to be really close to my mouth. But I'm going to see if this is where Adobe's mic check would want me to have it. So let's click on mic test. And I'm going to talk into this microphone with it literally, what is this, about three or so inches away from my mouth. What does it think of this? If I go quiet, that way you can hear the background noise. I do have a gate going on here. And I have a computer that has a fan on it, can be a little bit on the noisy side. But let's see what it thinks of this if I hit stop. What do you think, Adobe? It still says I need more gain. Okay, let me bring up the gain just ever so slightly. And we're going to see what happens if I bring up the gain just a little bit. It looks like it's clipping on my meters over here. But uh, we will see, I guess, uh, if I bring it up a little bit more. Okay, I'm adding about, what is this? Uh, I mean, I'm redlining adding 10 more dB on my sound devices mix pre six. I am clicking, clipping on it. So let's try mic check right now, the same exact position. Let's see how far away, uh, my, or, or not how far away, but let's see how good my audio is in the Adobe mic check right now. So to me, I sound extremely loud and I'm bouncing off the limiter. I keep seeing the light light up. My mix pre six is literally almost completely orange when I'm talking. So let's see if this makes Adobe happy. Survey says, more gain. I wonder if that means I have too much gain and I need to back off on it a little bit. Let me try that instead. Maybe, maybe this is, maybe it's backwards and I need to have less gain. Maybe that's what it's meaning is that there's too much gain. So I'm going to back off on this ever so slightly. I'm going to go down just a little bit. And now with my volume quite a bit lower right around here, let's try it now. See what it thinks. And again, I'm compensating for this audio level a little bit in post. So we're going to see if it sounds like it's lower than it was before or higher. You know, it, it's me compensating a little bit in post to try to make up for that. But right now, my meters are barely peaking at around negative 15 dB. Let's see what you think of that. If I hit stop on that after talking into it a little bit, still more gain. Okay, I don't know what to think about that, but notice that that distance of the mic Background noise and echo are still about the same. So, huh. Um, what should I do now? Let me, let, let's, um, let's, let's go back to assuming this thing wants more gain. So I will, let's, let's go really aggressive on my compressor. I'm going to turn the compressor all the way up. So that way I can push it like crazy and basically create a flat line out of this. And I'm going to boost up my level here in post. Uh, actually, not in post. This is on my my DBX two eighty six S. So now I am I'm clipping once again on the limiter. This to me sounds way too harsh and sharp. So let's see what it, what it thinks about this. Again, the microphone is really close to me, and uh, we're gonna see what it says now. I mean, if I go quiet, or even as I'm talking, you can hear the aggressive 
286S limiter kicking in and the the compression. I mean, this thing is literally lit up like crazy uh, with the compressor compressing all the way across the entire thing down to a, uh, a straight line, which is kind of funny. Hit stop. What do you think now? Man, this sounds bad. Still more gain. But it likes the distance off the mic. It's actually saying it's a little bit too far away. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to get way up so sorry about this in advance i'm practically touching my cheek on this thing and it's man this is insanely loud okay i'm gonna hit test mic right now with the it's the microphone is touching my cheek so let's try it now and say do you still think i'm too far away microphone because at this point it is complete garbage it is way too close it's distorting my sound devices mix pre 6 is limiting like crazy and i'm going to try to take a picture uh or rather a video of what my uh my, my dbx 286s looks like just because it's so hilarious how the uh compressor is literally redlining as i'm talking i'm going to go ahead and leave this on for just a moment so that way i can continue to talk and you can see how the compressor is kicked so far in that it is completely redlining so that's what it looks like you can see the video in post now i'm going to hit stop test and we're going to see exactly what adobe <sighs> seems to think jesus is painful more gain. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to back off on the compression a little bit because this is driving me insane. I don't know how to make more gain on the system. I'm already redlining. The sound device's mix pre six is literally like right now. I'll take another video just to show you is the way it looks right now. It's it's almost the kind of thing I need to put this put cameras on this thing in real time. But you can see that my sound device's mix pre six when I hit record on it, I am talking into it right now and I am. This meter right over here, if you look at it, this here and the little uh, L light that lights up right there, that shows that I'm peeking out on this and the limiter is kicking in gear. So this is not the place it should be for, you know, any audio recording level. So, uh, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to hit bypass on the DBX286S. And so now there's no processing at all. It's just the, uh, the input gain. And I'm going to gain this thing up a little bit. If you listen in the background, you hear all that. Uh, it's clipping now. Uh, so I'm going to back it off a little bit so that way we're as loud as we can get without that little limiter light coming on. So this is it right now. And um, compressor, none of that stuff is enabled because it's all being bypassed. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to click on the button here and we're going to do a mic check and mic test right now to see if I go quiet here and you hear the computer fans just raging. How? does this mic check sound now when when i test that stop test background noise is still fine this is extremely loud in my opinion okay and it still wants more gain and it says i'm a little bit too far away like this thing doesn't seem to matter okay here's what we're going to test now we're going to go farther away from the microphone let me um go about uh what is this about that's about a foot away and we're starting to get, uh, actually, let's put it right up against the monitor. Ooh, we should get some echo over here now. No, let's not do that just yet. Let's let's go a little bit higher and angle in. So now we're about uh, one foot away. We're getting a little bit of echo here. Let's try this now. and Let's see uh, what you think of this. So speaking into the microphone, uh, about a foot away, it's getting closer to my monitor. So we're going to start to pick a little bit of echo up on the microphone. Hitting stop. Let's see what you think now. Survey says... More gain. Turn down the gain again. Oh, turn down gain. I'm totally missing this. Like I said, I haven't. Gain measures sensitivity. Okay, so let's see if I were to turn the gain down a little bit. Let's try this exact same test again. And now, <laughs> I promise I can read people. Um, let, me, let me talk into it now. And now with my audio peaking at around negative 20 dB, and that's peaking right now. It's, uh, well, it just went up to negative 15 or so. Let's try this now and see how well it's going to do. Survey says it likes this. Crisp and clear. Beautiful. Okay. Let's put the, the, the microphone right up next to my computer. Let's leave the gain right where it is. 
and I, I'm, I'm so low and quiet. Now it sounds like I'm getting a little bit of echo off the, I mean, not just a little bit. This is actually pretty bad. It's coming off of my computer monitor. And so the, the system should be able to hear that. I mean, it sounds really bad in my opinion. We're about 18 or so inches away from the microphone. And the, mic, the microphone is, I mean, all my voice is doing is bouncing off the computer monitor and coming right back in. How well do you think that sounds, Adobe Podcast? Mic check. Crisp and clear. Okay. So let's back off now. I am about a good two feet away. Uh, a little bit on the off-axis side of that. So let's, let's try this now. Mic check. What do you think of this Adobe Podcast AI? Right now I'm peeking at uh, about a negative 32 D oh no, that's negative 28 DB. So I'm compensating in post, of course, but this right now sounds really bad in my ears. What do you think Adobe? Okay. Um, let me gain up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna go quiet. I'm gonna, actually, let me go farther away. Okay, putting the microphone right over the camera. Now, okay, I'm barely able to reach the microphone. So it's about what, a meter away, something like that, three feet. Here we go. Now I'm gonna talk kind of on the low side. What do you think of this Adobe mic check? I'm talking very, very low. I'm peaking the meters now at about negative uh, 32 dB. And that's because I gained up a little bit. What do you think? Adobe, mic check, what do you think? Oh, it thinks I'm a little too far away from my microphone, you think? And it says, come closer, you're far away from the microphone. What if I raise my voice a little bit? If I were just to raise my voice ever so slightly, would you, do you think this makes up for it? Am I a little bit closer sounding to the microphone now if I'm, if I'm right here, if I'm speaking up and my peaks are now at negative 24 dB? Negative 22 dB, negative 24, somewhere in that that realm. Let's see. Come closer. Okay, so you think I need to come closer. Okay, well, let me come a little bit closer then to the microphone. We're going to see if I'm right here. Is this acceptable? What if I'm right over here? Am I acceptable now? I still think it's kind of surprising that it doesn't pick up on the echo or the background noise. It still seems to like all of that. It says, oh, no, you're just fine. Less noise is good. So I'm right over here. Let's see how well this goes. Hitting stop. What do you think, Adobe? <sighs> of course, this is crisp and clear sound. Apparently, my standards are completely off. So I'm going to this time click the button. I'm going to talk very low at a whisper. I'm going to boost up my level like crazy. So now I can barely talk and I'm peaking the meters. Jeez, that was a peak at around negative eight dB. So I'm gonna hit the test mic and I'm gonna go back about four feet away from the mic. Jeez, I'm sorry, this is like the worst, worst possible scenario of sound. And it's, you hear the creaking of the chair just from me breathing in this chair, but this is what I'm dealing with reality-wise, and I'm sorry that you're having to listen to this. Hopefully it's entertaining. So let's try... Stop test. Jeez, I gotta lower that audio level before it deafens me. I'm a little too far away. Move closer to reach the sweet spot. Okay. Distance is a most important factor. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing again. This time, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to back away, and I'm gonna try raising my voice ever so slightly. See what it thinks of that. All right, so I'm talking, I'm peaking the meters a little bit, and if I were to have this volume, still from about four feet away, I'm nowhere near the thing, but what do you think now, Adobe? Do you like the way this sounds now? To me, I don't like the way it sounds at all. Background noise should be adjusted. adjusted. Jeez, I'm starting to feed back off of my own headphones. Background noise level is, is still acceptable. Well, when is it not acceptable? I mean, it, it really is puzzling to me how it seems 
to think that I'm just a little too far away from my microphone. The gain is fine. Background noise is fine. Echo is fine. To me, this sounds like total garbage. So wonder what I can do to actually make the background noise come up. I wonder. Okay, I'm going to put the microphone very low towards the computer monitor, and I'm going to raise it up the gain-wise, and I'm going to whisper but close to the mic. So let's see what happens now. Okay. I am now about one foot away from the microphone, and this is me talking into it. The background noise is so high. The background noise alone is peaking my meters at negative 46. Negative 45, negative 46 dB. What do you think, Adobe? Jeez. Oh, what do you know? It actually says, oh, this is a little bit too much noise now. A little bit. I need to reduce my background noise, but it likes my distance off the microphone. Well, let's see if I can find a nice, nice sweet spot, so to speak. So I'm covering up my face now. Let's boost this up. One, one last test. All right. So what do you think now, Adobe? Do you think this is acceptable? If I am trying to record a podcast with my voice sounding like this, do you think this is acceptable? Or do you think this is sounding too much like garbage considering that I'm about maybe 15 or so inches away from the microphone and it's pointing almost directly at the fans of my computer? Jeez. This is god-awful. Oh! We have found a great place for me to record any podcast that I do in the future. So if you're looking at this as a tool to adjust your microphone and check your levels and stuff like that, what do I think of this? It's complete garbage. And complete garbage might be a nice way to word it. I, hmm. You know what just occurred to me? I wonder if I put this into Adobe Speech Enhancer what would it be able to do? Maybe maybe that's what it's doing is it's determining if it's going to be able to good, get good possible quality out of the Adobe speech enhancement. So what I'm going to do is that last audio sample that I did that was complete garbage, that was, you know, the, the, the sweet spot and everything was crisp and clear. I'm going to take that, put that through Adobe Podcast AI, and then put it up on the screen right now so that way you can hear it. And I'm going to black and white it so that way you know that this is in the past. All right, so... What do you think now, Adobe? Do you think this is acceptable? If I am trying to record a podcast with my voice sounding like this, do you think this is acceptable? Or do you think this is sounding too much like garbage considering that I'm about maybe 15 or so inches away from the microphone and it's pointing almost directly at the fans of my computer? Interesting results. So if you are concerned at all for the future of your voice being recreated by AI, I don't think that Adobe quite has some stuff in their algorithm done properly just yet. At least in the mic check. I mean, the um, I mean, truth be known, the the podcast AI is doing pretty interesting results. It's okay in some ways. It's able to pull out sound really far away. But then remember, it's in beta test. So there you go. Thank you for tuning in this episode of Sounds Beast. Be sure to tune in the future for more tests that you probably are curious about but might not have actually gotten around to. And of course, as always, sound advice. Have a question you'd like answered or want to add something? Be sure to write it in the comment section down below. You can also make a suggestion for future topics of discussion. Again, comment section down below or you can email me at soundspeeds at yahoo.com. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on future sound advice.